I am near to the place where they should meet if Pisanio have mapped it truly. How fit his garments serve me? Why should his mistress, who was made by him who made the tailor, not be fit too? The rather saving reverence of the word. For it is said a woman's fitness comes by fits. Therein I must play the workman. I dare speak it to myself. For it is not vain glory for a man and his glass to confer in his own chamber. I mean, the lines on my body are as well drawn as his. No less young, more strong. Not beneath him in fortunes, beyond him in the advantages of the time, above him in birth, alike conversant in general services and more remarkable in single oppositions. Yet this imperseverant thing loves him in my despite. What mortality is? Posthumous. Thy head, which now is growing upon thy shoulders, shall within this hour be off. Thy mistress enforced. Thy garments cut to pieces before thy face. And all this done spurn her home to her father, who may happily be a little angry at my so rough usage, but my mother, having power over his testiness, shall turn all into my commendations. My horse is tied up safe. Out, sword, and to a sore purpose. Fortune placed them in my hand. This is the very description of their meeting place, and that fellow dare not deceive me. <laughs>